You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word. 25% off now. Guys, we're going to be talking about one of the most despicable people out there in the sports world. This particular athlete loves to kneel for the national anthem. She has no respect for this country. But for some reason, Beijing Biden decided to actually give her the Presidential Medal of Freedom. A person that hates this country. And I'm talking about Megan Rapinoe. Now, we talked about Megan Rapinoe in the past. This woman is the worst. When it comes to woke sports, this woman actually has her avatar as the Marxist symbol of BLM on Twitter. I have no respect for one Megan Rapinoe. Now, guys, Megan Rapinoe got this presidential medal of freedom and um, she actually talked to Beijing Biden because Beijing Biden called her. And guys, we find out something about that phone call. The virtue signaling is very, very strong with one Megan Rapinoe. It says here on the Daily Mail, Megan Rapinoe told Joe Biden to do more to free Brittany Griner when he phoned her with the news she was going to be awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Of course, Brittany Griner uh, doing nine years in a Russian prison because she broke the law. And of course, you know, to left this breaking the law means nothing, especially when it comes to another country. Now, it's kind of funny. This should not be a surprise because people of the left, they are lawless. They are. During the whole summer of blood in 2020, BLM, Antifa, burning down cities, beating up people, people dying, almost none of them were arrested. But anyway, it says here, U.S. soccer star Megan Rapino last month urged Beijing Biden in a phone call to do more to secure the release of Brittany Griner from her detention in Russia. And like I said before, guys, Russia has no respect for Joe Biden. No respect whatsoever. That's why, as of right now, the U.S. is offering the merchant of death for her. This is how pathetic this is. But anyway, according to Politico, Rapino made the request when Biden called her to inform her she would be awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the highest honor bestowed upon an American civilian. My goodness, I I still can't believe she got this. When Rapino attended the ceremony at the White House on July 7th, she wore a blazer with Griner's initials inscribed on the label. Yeah, I actually did a video on that. More virtue signaling. By the way, the jacket looked terrible. Uh, Griner 31 was sentenced to nine years in prison in Russia earlier in August after being convicted of drug possession and smuggling. Griner brought brought on vape cartridges and cannabis oil into Russia when she flew to Moscow to play basketball in the city of um, Yekaterinburg during the WNBA offseason. And of course, Biden denounced the ruling as unacceptable. Yeah, because the left doesn't believe in law and order. Uh, with the verdict coming amid soaring tensions between the U.S. and Russia over Ukraine. There have been numerous reports that Griner could be involved in a high-profile prisoner swap between the two countries. You guys already know about that. This is pretty despicable here. I cannot believe she got this award. A person that kneels for the national anthem, rewarded with the highest civilian honor. Pathetic. But anyway... It says, but uh, Rapino, 37, still took took her opportunity to tell Biden to secure Griner's release as quickly as possible. Politico says that uh, Biden phoned Griner's wife, Cheryl, in the days after speaking with Rapino. So essentially, guys, they're saying that the only reason why Beijing Biden actually called uh, Cheryl Griner is because of Megan Rapino. Okay. Rapino also called for Biden to step up efforts to free Griner in a speech at the ESPYs awards in July. Quote, we love her. We miss her. We're doing every single thing we can to get her out. Rapino said 
BG deserves to be free. She's being held as a political prisoner, obviously. Every time we see BG's face, every time we say her name in interviews, it puts pressure on everyone. It puts pressure on the administration, on Russia, and lets uh, BG know we are thinking about her all the time. We haven't done enough at all. Or I should say we haven't done enough. All of us, we can do more. We can support her more. Cheryl Griner has previously outlined frustration with how the Biden administration is dealing with uh, Griner's situation. Yeah. So apparently, guys, Megan Rapino had a lot to do with um, Beijing Biden finally doing something. OK, now the end game is trading her for somebody and bringing her back, maybe Paul Whelan. But there's other people that's been there longer. I mean, if Brittany Griner actually is able to come home ahead of these other people that's actually been there longer. And I don't, I don't want to hear anything about racism. Brittany Griner seems to have LGBT plus Q X, Y, Z, L, L, M, N, O, P privilege. The only reason why they're saying anything is because she's black and she's a lesbian. Let's just be clear about that, because when it came to Paul Whelan, Nobody cared about him before Brittany Griner. Nobody cared about the teacher. I don't think anybody's really actually talking about the teacher right now. They don't care. But Megan Rapino, of course, you know, she's going to actually stick up for somebody that hates this country as well. Brittany Griner knelt for the national anthem. She did that. She was actually wearing BLM Marxist attire in the WNBA, but not a surprise considering, you know, that, uh, the WNBA is just full of Marxists. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Megan Rapino, Is she the quote unquote unsung hero that could actually get a uh, Brittany Griner back because she laid the smack down on Beijing Biden? No, no, absolutely not. Megan Rapino is just full of crap. She's a virtue sitler. And anytime she can actually invoke some type of a. Uh, alphabet stuff and BLM Marxism, she's going to jump at it. Now, I wonder when Subway is actually going to drop her because your sales are horrible. The franchisees have said it. They want a gun. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.